Hi friends, it's Tyler. So today, as you can see, we are not over there where I usually film because we are going on a little adventure, a spooky adventure, if I might add. Here's the deal. So I don't have that much experience with psychics. I mean, I've seen like Ghost with Whoopi Goldberg and she's all, you in danger, girl. My experience with psychics is limited. I don't know any in my real life. I have also been on The Hollywood Medium and that was an experience. I don't go to psychics like a lot of my friends do. You know, this is a thing people do. I have never leaned into it, but today I'm leaning into it. And with Halloween coming up, I feel like tampering with spirits and perhaps demons might be appropriate. So I did a little bit of Googling and I found this psychic. Her name is Shirley. She seems great. She seems fun. She seems like she knows things. I've never met her. I didn't tell her anything about me when I made the appointment. We're just going into this and seeing what she might know and what she might be able to tell me. So with all of that in mind, let's go see my psychic. Okay, so I'm here at Shirley's house. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I guess I'm just gonna go up to the front door. Hello? Hello! Hi! Say hello! Hi! <laughs> Thank you so much for sitting with me and hanging out with me and letting me into your home and heart. I've never really done this before. So before I start, I've just started doing something recently and I wrote down a bunch of stuff for you, Tyler. And this is what I call the download. And so it's all the stuff on paper. Usually it's very neat, mm -hmm. but yours is all over the place. Oh God, so is that's that a your, good thing or a yeah, bad thing? Yeah, your energy is all over the place. I call it the debris field. <laughs> Okay. So some people call it the luminous light field, like the luminous energy field. This is us. This is the cage that houses our energy. But when I do my sessions, I take my energy outside and I t I'm taking yours out. And then we go fly it like around right here. Okay. If we go out there, we're like in Brigadoon land, right? Like in the ether. Absolutely. So we want to stay right here. Not Brigadoon. <laughs> <laughs> Not in Brigadoon. We did that at my high school. So everything I'm talking about is related to you. So that's no what, this, <laughs> okay. so this time with me, I might make a lot of references that make sense to you. Are you a nail biter? I'm not, but I pick them. Yeah, because I, I had a tension around my nails and my nail polish chipped and I wrote, so I wrote nail biter and then I wrote pay your bills on time. I do that. Yeah. Pay, is oh, that a reminder or are you? It's a reminder, okay. pay your bills on time. Then I had a Malin Getz cannabis candle going and I really noticed the smell of it. And I thought he might really like this, but I don't like it. And so I blew it out and I wrote no weed, no booze. Now I don't know <laughs> if you smoke or drink or anything because I almost went to the dark rum candle that I have because I love this line. <laughs> okay. And I went, no, I have to go to florals like lavender. Your guides told me to tell you that's what I wrote. Okay. Um, well, I don't drink. Yeah. And... Then I said there's dog energy around you. Do you have a dog? I um, grew up with a dog. Yeah, yeah. Was it a black lab or was it It was black? a black lab. I wrote dog energy around you like a black lab. Yeah. So that's an important one. And the reason that I say that when I said all these angels and nothing's going to harm you, not while I'm around, it relates to our dog friends too, not just people that have mm. passed away. That's an important one. Then I said lavender is a good scent and color for you. And then I saw blue. And then I said rainbow. Look up. There's rainbows all around. And I just saw. Is that, did you, you know I'm gay? <laughs> Mommy loves you. Is he, are you close to your mom? And your dad's energy is quiet. I don't know if you're close to your dad or not. Uh, His energy is quiet. Yeah, I'm close to yeah. I'm close I'll, to both. I'll see them in the reading, okay. but it was just what I felt when I was sitting down. Your dad was being quiet. The mommy loves you thing. My mom will text me out of the blue, mommy loves you. That's crazy. That's wild to me. Then I saw Cabo San Lucas, and I don't know if that's <laughs> a place that you go to in Mexico. Hopefully this is footage of me having the best time ever in Cabo. Who walks around naked? Is that you? Do you like to walk around naked? <laughs> Uh, you know, it's not like I like to, but, but sometimes I might. Who's walking around naked? I saw naked. <laughs> then I wrote Teodoro, Italian boyfriend. <laughs> Do you have a Do you have a boyfriend? I do not. Do you want one? I mean, I wouldn't hate one. Well, you should ask the question. I said Teodoro Italian because I heard Teodoro. So I wrote Italian boyfriend, or do you just like West Side Story? What does Teodoro mean? I love you in Italian. It's God. like, it, but it's like, or something. Yeah, somebody's telling you they love you and they're going to say it in a, they are making a prediction. They're going to say that they love you and they're going to say it in a foreign language. Okay. That's all. So just watch for that. A nice or, Italian gentleman. Or you just like, and then I said, crush it, but with a hug. That's weird. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's it. That's what I have. So that all just came to you out of nowhere. 
that was like I just sat there and I started writing. I could have gone on, but I was like, I have to stop. Goodness because that's me. your energy. Because your energy can keep going and going, yeah. right? You can keep going and going. That's so why I had an energy surge. Then I got tired. <laughs> and then <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so now I want you to go choose a deck of cards over there and bring it back okay. to me. Okay, so any of these. I knew it. You knew it. I knew that's the Italian deck. I'm telling you, it's a, Italian. It's a, I wrote it down. You've never dated an Italian. I have dated Italians. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and cut the deck. I want to put this aside. Dramatic, are we? Is uh, that a good thing? That's or a the first bad? card out is the death card. But, you know. <laughs> okay. It just means it doesn't mean you're dying. You mm -hmm. understand none Something's of these like dying. that. But it just means something's changing. You're mm -hmm. going through some changes, right? Okay, listen. You're, what? You're fucked. No, what? <laughs> no. Excuse I'm kidding. me? I'm kidding. Okay. I'm kidding. The bottom cards for me are kind of where where's Tyler in his life now and what is his blueprint like say when coming in from a past life qualities here are somebody that has a nice upbringing hmm. right you have a nice upbringing it was home. all right it was, yeah but it was fine they did the best they could yeah that's what I'm I, I know my mom is watching so she was <laughs> wonderful I'm hearing she was they great. did the best they could that's your mom's parents are they both gone? You're, mm -hmm. uh, that's the Falling Tower. So the Falling Tower is an anxious card for me, and I don't know what their life was like or what they, you know, what they went through or whatever. But your mom has come out this very loving person, and I like your, I like that. You hear the yeah. bird chirping out there. This grandma coming in. That is so weird. You know, my mom has a thing where she's anytime she hears a bird, she thinks it's her mom. I just said that. Yeah, grandma. And I have a thing. <laughs> so weird. My nose starts to feel like it's running, even though you can't see a runny nose. And it, when it runs on this side, it's somebody on dad's side. And when it runs on this side, it's someone on mom's side. And it's running over here right now. And I said, that's your mom's mom. I'm going to predict that you're going to be in a relationship. Is that something that you want um, on a heart's desire level? Yes. Right? Yeah. Because I'm seeing something wonderful between May and August of next year. But i got to wait that long? No, I was just about to tell you that let's put a hustle on it. Okay, <laughs> I was going to say. Because, because, but I tell you what I hear, because listen, you date, you could date a lot, right? Like you could, I don't know, I get a headache when I think about you dating. I like Same. I literally, <laughs> yeah, it feels like somebody's injecting my forehead with Botox right now. Like it's my forehead That's is paralyzed. That's what my dating life gives you. <laughs> Great. <laughs> So this is the star card. That's the most beautiful card in the deck. You're gonna meet somebody who wants to have kids. You want to have kids, like at I least would love one to have kid. kids. Yeah. yeah, for sure. It's showing up right there. That this is this is a done deal. Like this is part of your blueprint. I see one kid, two kids, maybe more than one. I think you're gonna have more than one. Um, and you come from a family of three or four kids. Um, like bunch. a bunch? Um, like there's more like 12, you mean? Like yes, something like that? Yes, there's 12. You're kidding. I just went like that and I saw 12. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. Well, because I said three or four, maybe that's, we'll see. Hmm. So this is the future here. You want to be married? Mm -hmm. This is my marriage card. This is a justice card. Maybe we'll meet an attorney with a sense of humor. Oh. That would be nice. That would Where'd be Where'd that nice. come from? An attorney with a sense of humor? Your self cards, this is who you are. You're a loner. Kind of like hermit. <laughs> Great. A loner hermit. I don't think anyone's friends with Tyler Oakley. <laughs> a loner hermit. That's good. You're a seeker. Let's call it a seeker. Sure. I'm seeking the good pizza, right? I'm yeah. seeking the bread. Oh, I smelled bread before. I want to ask you if you like bread. I don't know. If you don't I seem like a bread eater. Bread. I love bread. Um, work. What are you, are you changing things with work? I have balance right now, so everything's working, right? Mm -hmm. Like everything's like very slick. I have a judgment card on top of it. The judgment card for me means I might be taking a look at this and changing things. And mm -hmm. how do I want to change it? Do I want to change it in a dramatic way? Do I want to branch off into something else? Do I want to take on like, are you going to go off of YouTube or something into something bigger? Are we going traveling? What are, where are we taking this? This is what's in your head. Nothing. <laughs> well, you Not nailed kidding. it. <laughs> That's the fool. I'm open to do anything and I'm strong. I'm willing to do anything. I'll go for anything. Literally, I'll go for anything. Do you talk to people? Like, do you do lectures or public speaking or things like that outside of what you do here? Yeah. There may be more of that involved about talking to people about their fears and what they're going through. But I see you as a happy person. 
see you as like a, a light giver. Right? Mm. You give light. Do you have like you have a manager or an agent or something? I do. Do you have? Yeah. Is it a woman? Mm -hmm. I just saw a woman when I went like this. I thought there's a woman that's helping him, and she's talking about you to people. This is the big one. Where are you headed? To make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> really? Is that what you want to do? I mean, I wouldn't hate it's it. A, it's a, listen. It's, it's not a, a bad prediction. Listen, very clear message here. Making money doing something I love. Mm -hmm. Do you like to date older men? I mean, I'm not against them. Like in their 40s, so you're 30, I think 40. I just saw somebody who's 40 years old. I just want to tell you. I would like to see somebody who's 40, year old. Okay. <laughs> 40 years old. That's okay with me. I want you to date like crazy. Okay. Not on apps. Get out not on apps. You go on apps? Well, I dabble. Everybody does. Everybody dabbles. Right? Are you on Grinder? <laughs> no. I always say get off the apps. It's like getting off the pole, right? If you're a stripper, get off the pole, right? Get off the apps because it's not always authentic, but sometimes it can be. I have a niece who met her husband on J Date and she's super happy. Okay. She has two kids. <laughs> <laughs> but but grinder has got a little different setup, right? Uh -huh. um, but, but, yeah, <laughs> that setup so I'll that, get on J-Date. Go ahead, no, don't go on J-Date. You should go on no apps. You should be. You should meet your person in the world. Okay. You're going to meet your person in the world through work, through being in your life. You're going to meet your person. Mm -hmm. That's just how it happens. Who's in Toluca Lake? Anybody? Toluca Lake. I just heard Toluca Lake. Don't now don't What's get in your Toluca car and start Lake? driving around Toluca Lake. Where's Toluca Lake? Toluca Lake is near Burbank or something. It's like Studio City. Okay. Like I just heard it. A crazy one. So don't like but don't get in your car and start driving around there like a maniac. That was in your future on top of the devil. I'm gonna re go back to that for a second because there's this fear right now, like are you ready to be in a relationship actually, Tyler? Are you actually ready at this moment to be in a relationship? Probably not. I, I don't think so. That's why I, I'm telling you. I, in, my, in my studied opinion. I mean, that's probably valid. Yeah. So, but this is going to change now because we're talking about it and you want to fast track it. I'm still going to go back to May. Or maybe he's born in the month of May. The number five could have significance. Okay. If I say the number five, I don't think that's 50. I think he could be five to 10 years older. But I saw somebody in, in that was 40, but we could go... The number five has significance. Okay. You're at a really great part of your life now, Tyler. That's what I feel like where you're shifting through things. You're examining, right? But you're coming from a very grounded place. I see you as really grounded, even though you have this death card in the center, which is like crazy. But that's you wanting to try everything and feel everything. And then you're looking at everything and going, oh, now I just have to figure out. I'm going to organize what I want. That's very much where I'm at in I, my life right now. Yeah, I get it. So, so this is now we've got the material. I've got all the raw material here. Mm. So now we're going to create something, but you have to leave it open. You have to have me vet all of your boyfriends. Okay, I will You're do that. You're going to have to bring it in, and I'll, I'll vet them First for you. First date idea. I'm <laughs> like, oh, we just have to make a quick stop. I hope that's okay. <laughs> I'll vet them for you. Okay. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. This was so helpful and mm -hmm. sometimes shocking and... <laughs> I don't know. I'm. I will be back. I feel like I have follow-up questions, and we got things to dive into. That's what I'm here for. This was fun. Thank you. Well, I'm back, and I guess I was not expecting that. It felt like a whirlwind of a lot of information. I am a little bit shaken that she knew some of the things she knew. If even if she wanted to Google things, there's no world she could have been able to. Like about my dog or my mom's mom and the like bird. And then I guess when it comes to the future stuff, she gave me some insights that I. I, I mean, I guess I need to find. <laughs> where Toluca Lake is. I need to figure out who is the Italian man that's gonna say I love you to me. And maybe I need to start dating older. Y'all know anyone? If you're watching. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. When I walked in, I was a little bit like, okay, girl, with the candles and the crystals and the aura and this, that, the other, but I am now <laughs> a little bit convinced. Anyway, thank you so much for coming on this little journey with me today. Have you guys ever been to a psychic? Do you believe in psychics? Would you ever go to a psychic? Would you ever get a reading? Let me know if there are any things that you've been through. Let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna check out Shirley or get a reading yourself, you can check the links in the description. I'm gonna link to like her Instagram or her website, her this, that, the other. You can go get a reading of your own. But that is all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, click the bell button if you want to know when I upload every Tuesday. But until next time, have a good life. I'll see you guys.
in the future.